Since the release of Jacqueline Glenn's video about Eugenia Cooney, following immediately after Shane Dawson's interview with Eugenia, there's been a lot of discussion about Eugenia's mother. Jacqueline states that she feels Eugenia is still in danger because the mother is still a part of the picture. There are many people on the internet who seem to agree. In this video, we're gonna discuss the family's role in recovery and how it may help or hurt the person trying to recover. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. And I've done two videos so far kind of following this story. So if you're into any of this stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And real quick, just so you all know, tomorrow, yes, tomorrow on Monday, the 22nd, my brand new book, Canceled, is coming out. Out. It is analyzing cancel culture, not only sharing my own personal experience, but also talking about a bunch of other instances in the YouTube community and pop culture. So make sure you check it out. The book is free. So if you wanna help support what I'm trying to do here, there is a donation link down in the description below. So check that out. But let's jump into this topic because I've been receiving a lot of comments about this. Just hours after Shane Dawson released The Return of Eugenia Cooney, Jacqueline Glenn and her friends released their video telling their truth. I made a video yesterday, which you can find up in the info card about whether or not I believe it was a good idea for Jacqueline to release this video. Regardless of whether or not it was the right thing to do, it started a conversation about Eugenia Cooney's mother. For a long time, Eugenia Cooney continued to lose weight because of her eating disorder, and many people in the community felt as though her mother was enabling this behavior. For anyone who has had a loved one struggling with an addiction or an eating disorder, you know how hard it is to get that person to get help. Eventually, it came to the point where Jacqueline Glenn and her friends had to step in to have an intervention with Eugenia and force her into going to treatment. When the intervention happened, Eugenia's mother was on the phone screaming at Jacqueline Glenn, threatening to press charges for kidnapping. Jacqueline Glenn also discussed how Eugenia wasn't allowed to do all that much, and she even had a driver who kind of doubled as a bodyguard. This led Jacqueline Glenn and her friends to believe that Eugenia's mother is a danger to Eugenia, and if she's ever going to recover, something needs to be done about her mother. Since I released my video yesterday, I received an astonishing amount of comments stating that this reminds them of the Gypsy Rose Blanchard case. For those of you who don't know, Gypsy Rose Blanchard's mother, Dee Dee, made Gypsy believe she was sick for most of her life and even had Gypsy use a wheelchair even though she could walk. This story is extremely complex, and if you want, go check out some of my previous videos about it. But one of the things is Gypsy wasn't allowed to tell the truth to anybody about was, what was going on. And she even had a feeding tube, which she didn't need either. She was also made to believe that she was allergic to sugar. This eventually led to Gypsy meeting a man online named Nick and Go to John, who she convinced to murder her mother, Dee Dee. So like I mentioned in my last video, Jacqueline Glenn might be right. I understand why she still is concerned, but I wanna use the rest of this video to to talk about my own personal experience doing a lot of interventions and working in an addiction treatment center and things like that to kind of play devil's advocate because I personally believe there isn't enough information out there, but there's a lot of stuff that we can all learn from this situation. First, I think we need to address the people comparing this situation to Gypsy Rose Blanchard and her mother, Dee Dee. I personally believe that in order for this to even be in the same ballpark of the Gypsy Rose Blanchard case, we'd have to believe that Eugenia's mother was purposely keeping Eugenia sick as a way of getting views and money. And in order to believe that, you'd also have to believe that the only reason Eugenia has an audience is because of her eating disorder, and that might not be fair to assume. But if that's not the case, why didn't Eugenia's mom do something more? Well, as we learned from Jacqueline Glenn's video, Eugenia didn't want to get help and made a ton of excuses. Is it possible that Eugenia's mother tried to help, but Eugenia did the same thing to her? Again, mental illnesses like eating disorders and addiction are tricky, and they make the person believe that they don't have a problem. There's also another reason Eugenia's mother may have not tried harder to get Eugenia help, and it's something that I've personally experienced 
many times. So like I mentioned, I have been in recovery for a little over seven years. I worked in an addiction treatment center for a little over three years and I've been a part of many interventions and I've had to help many people get help for their addiction, all right? And something I wanted to discuss in this video is something that might have been the case with Eugenia's mother. And this is something that I wish didn't happen as often with parents or even spouses or significant others. And this is being in a complete state of denial that their loved one is suffering. And this isn't what I'm about to say. This isn't a good reason. It's not a good excuse, but I hope you can empathize. I've seen a lot of parents deny that their son or daughter has a problem with addiction because they feel if they admit if they admit that their son or daughter is suffering, then they also have to admit, or their mind tells them that they're also admitting that they're a bad parent and they failed, all right? So this can cause many parents to be in denial and think or even say that their child doesn't need help because they they might feel even on a subconscious level that this is a bad reflection on them being a parent but like i said i've seen this happen many other times where like a significant other doesn't want their you know partner to go get treatment because then they feel like well well i should have been able to help them right like if you let your, your child or your spouse or significant other go get help from a professional treatment center, you are, also, you are also acknowledging that you couldn't help that person. And if this is something that you're dealing with, like I really hope that you, you come to terms with this and acknowledge like you're not a doctor, you're not a therapist, you're not a psychologist. Me and you, our love cannot save anybody. In many cases, the person needs professional help. Jacqueline Glenn also feels that Eugenia is still in danger because the mother is still in the picture. But again, Jacqueline may not have all of the information. So one more time to play devil's advocate, Eugenia has been in treatment for a while, then she left treatment, she's been out for quite some time, and Jacqueline Glenn hasn't had much contact with Eugenia Cooney. So the question I want you to ask yourself, is it possible that Eugenia's mother has been part of the recovery process? For example, at many treatment centers, family therapy is a thing, all right? So what we don't know and what wasn't discussed in Shane Dawson's video is whether or not Eugenia's mother might be part of the recovery process by going through her own individual therapy as well as maybe doing family therapy sessions with Eugenia, all right? Like this is very beneficial. And the reason why family therapy is so important is because a lot of family members don't understand the mental illness that their their loved one is going through, right? Like many people who struggle with addiction, their mom, their dad, their sister, their brother, their friends, their family, whoever it is, they don't understand what that person's going through. So in a family therapy session, not only is the loved one able to understand a little bit more, but a therapist can help these two communicate and see how they can kind of help each other during this recovery process. So I just wanna put that out there that it might be possible that Eugenia Cooney's mother is also involved in this recovery process. I guess at the end of the day, the question we all have to ask ourselves is what did Jacqueline think the end game was gonna be? Would Jacqueline have only been satisfied if Eugenia went on Shane Dawson's video and discussed how awful of a person her mother was? Does Jacqueline want Eugenia to sever all ties with her own mother? Because the reality is, it's not that simple. A major part of recovery is setting boundaries. Like Jacqueline Glenn might be right to be worried about Eugenia because of her mother, all right? But we have to remember, it is her mother, okay? Like, this is much different than a situation where maybe somebody had, you know, a, a boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife. Like, you can break up with that person, you can get a divorce, but your mother will always be your mother. So personally, as I watched the video, I'm like, what did Jacqueline Glenn want? Like, does Jacqueline Glenn want Eugenia to never speak to her mother again? Because that's not really realistic. Again, I just personally feel, my personal opinion is that it is way too soon to make all of these assumptions that Eugenia Cooney is still in danger because of her mother, because we have nowhere near enough information to make that conclusion. And again, like the question is, what was Jacqueline Glenn's end game? Like this is something that was an issue with the whole Eugenia Cooney storyline is like, does Jacqueline Glenn want people to go rescue Eugenia or save her? Because that's not something that's gonna work. Like, I don't know, at this point, all we can do is sit back and just hope the best 
for Eugenia and that she's doing the right things, making the right decisions and embracing her recovery, you know what I mean? Again, I completely empathize with Jacqueline Glenn and her friends and how they are still worried and concerned. Hell, whenever like I have friends or family members who get sober, like I'm worried about them. Like one of my best friends is about to come up on four years sober, four years sober and I still worry about him. Hell, I have seven years sober and people still worry about me, you know what I mean? So I think it's good, like we have to remember it's a good thing that we worry about our loved ones but we need to really kind of check in and see what the right way to go about it is all right but anyways let me know your thoughts on this whole topic down in the comments below like do you think we have enough information so far to make these assumptions you know what i mean let me know your thoughts down below all right and don't forget tomorrow my brand new book canceled comes out and it is a hundred percent free but if you would like to donate to the cause and all that good stuff check out the description and the pinned comment down below there's a couple preview chapters up on the website too if you want to check those out all right but anyways that's all i got for this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell and a huge huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on patreon you are all amazing and for everybody who has already donated for this whole canceled book coming out i love and appreciate all of you as well all right thanks again so so much for watching i'll see you next time